another one for Robert. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> what was it like teaming up with Tom Holland again? Huh. Pretty great. I mean, we love a bit of Tom, don't we? We do. <laughs> and I think to myself. Are you Dr. Doolittle? Hello, I'm Harry Collette. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Carmel Aniardo. And we're going to be interviewing our co-stars on Fandango. What in the hoot nanny is going on? You're going to interview us? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling about that? Good. Yeah, yeah good. Good. Okay. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Really? Who'd like to begin? <laughs> I, I might as well work. <laughs> this one's for Robert. Oh, um, perfect. You've had such an iconic film career. What was it about this project, project that made you say, I need to be a part of this? Um, well, first of all, we, as I've said, and as you guys will see when we come hang out, we're surrounded by animals, cows, alpacas, goats, pigs, chickens, cats. <laughs> uh, we just got Bunnies. a rabbit. What kind of rabbit is it? A lion head rabbit? Yeah. Lion, yeah. yeah. Named like Jasper. Jasper. <laughs> it was going to um, be fluffy, and then it became Jasper right. somehow. Well, as it happened, it was great because we got to meet y'all, and it's a, an adventure film, but it's period, it's live action, but then there's all the animals and animation. So we we like a challenge and an adventure, and this was both. So this is a question for Robert and Susan. Um, a lot of this. I'll film take it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say Robert again. I'm like, really. <laughs> Um, a lot of this film is you having conversations with your friends who happen to be animals. If you guys could ask your pets one question, what would it be? Oh, jeez. I've got it. I would ask oh. Monty, why do you wake Mrs. Downey up every morning at 5.30? <laughs> and how can we fix this? I would do a side deal with him. Uh -huh. So I would probably ask D'Artagnan, Dart, our other cat. Um, Monty's brother. Yeah, I would be like... I, I just want to know if he's happy because you cannot read that cat at all. He's a tough read. He's a tough read and he seems really shy, but I actually think like in a street fight, he'd take down any other cat, but he seems like fluffy and nice and all that. So I just, yeah. it's a simple thing. You he's just a know, sleeping are dragon. Are you happy? <laughs> I just want to make sure he's happy. Yeah. I'm so glad you got that out, hon. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's also for Robert. Um, how are you able to connect and visualize the animals that were being portrayed? <laughs> Well, as you, I mean, you were up against it as, as much as <laughs> anyone. I ask you that. <laughs> um, well, and Carmel as well. There were animal actors as well as every other reference you could have. And so there was a team of people dressed in green suits who were really going for it. <laughs> and it was sometimes so helpful. And sometimes I just felt so awkward too. Yeah. Because past a certain point in the day, you're like, I'm just going to look there and do this. But they're still dressed in green in there. But... And the thing is, a lot of these folks are really highly trained actors that were coming off Star Wars and they're coming, they're all like amazing folks. But uh, it's, that, it's that ability to, to pretend, you know, mm -hmm. which is half of what we're doing mm -hmm. anyway. So you played Sherlock Holmes and now Doolittle. Yeah. What classic character would you like to portray next? Oh boy. I don't know, we were toying around with the idea of doing like a, a musical comedy about Sir Walter Raleigh, who was kind of a ne'er-do-well and, and all that stuff. Um, I should probably take a break from Brits for a minute, just because <laughs> it would seem like I, I've run out of moves. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Thank you. <laughs> a well-articulated, I don't know. Yeah. And this next one's also for Robert. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> I'll pass it off. <laughs> Since you didn't get to voice an animal in this film, what animal would you like to play if you got to decide? Right. God, that's really good. I would like to be a swarm of insects. Um, <laughs> uh, because that way I could make up for the fact that I didn't get to do a single animal voice on this, so I could do, you know, thousands. Really what they would do is they would take my voice and they would just repeat it. I would be harmonizing with myself. It would be like a chorus. Yeah. Why didn't you give me that opportunity, producer? <laughs> Next time. Okay. Yeah. Next time. I know I won for a bit. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> what was it like teaming up with Tom Holland again? Huh. Pretty great. I mean, we love a bit of Tom, don't we? We do. Yeah. <laughs> Did a great job with the um, with playing Jip, but also I think a lot of people are just comforted by the fact that they were hearing our voices again after uh, the events in the Marvel universe in the springtime. <laughs> <laughs> like in case we don't have to be reminded that what happens on a movie screen isn't real. 
Uh, Although he did his British accent for our movie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and there was talk of that. Originally, he was going to do Cockney, then he was doing British, and then at the last minute, like, they're like, wait, wait, should he do American? And we're like, no, yeah. like, let him. His Tom Holland accent was exceptional in this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was Thank too you. easy. <laughs> Love it. So you guys are going to do a talk show now, aren't you? Yeah. You're taking, you're taking meetings cool. out here. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah.